Marissa from The Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Today is a Friday Sews. I'm recording this uh, before Friday because on Wednesday I flew to the US, so I'm recording this on Tuesday. I had hoped to get sort of quite a few things sewn up before I left, and I managed just two. And um, so yeah, so I wanted to kind of talk you through both of those things, and uh, yeah, that's about it really. My mind is on packing and making sure I don't forget anything, so apologies. So the first thing I got sewn up is the Avenir Jumpsuit by Friday Pattern Company. Now, I um, am wearing it, so I'll show it to you in more detail and I'll take some photos and insert them. Um, but yeah, I thought this is a fun um, jumpsuit to make. I've got a bunch of viscose and various pretty prints like the one I'm wearing that um, that I thought would be where I had sort of larger quantities of and I thought it would be a fun pattern to make and looked super comfortable. So um, the Friday Pattern Company Avenue jump, jumpsuit comes in extra small to a 7x and so that's a bust of 32 waist 24 hip of 34 going up to a bust of 60 waist 53 hip of 63. Now I you can see from, you know, the, the images that it's quite loose fitting. Now, I was just a little nervous that if it was too loose, it would sort of look like pajamas. But obviously, it needs to be loose enough that it's comfortable because it is a woven fabric. So, um, based on my sizing, my bust is about a 45. So, that put me smack in the middle of an extra, extra large. My waist is 35 and my hip is 45. So the waist and the hip put me in a large, or excuse me, an extra large. So I thought, okay, well, to avoid the pajama look, I'm gonna grade from an XXL at the top to an extra large at the bottom. Now, in hindsight, I wish I'd just stuck with the XXL because um, it's I'd like it to be a bit looser fitting. The other issue is I have that sort of, well, I feel like I have that hungry bum situation, you know, where you're like, it's like up in your bum. I'll share some, I'll scoot back and show you. So um, I'll show some pictures. Now in my mind, here's the elastic waist. This should be at the waist, but when it's at the waist, the fabric is just go pulling sort of right in here. Um, so, yeah, so I think if I were to make it again, which I definitely will, I need to, I think the bodice is fine. I think I need to lengthen the rise. Um, I also, like I said, need to make the XXL on the pants. Now, they're not too bad. Um, maybe if I got the rise okay. I mean, I'm a, I believe this should sit at the waist. When I look at the other photos, it looks like it's sitting at the, the natural waist. So I actually think, like I said, the top's fine. Um, I've also got this sort of stomach situation, which makes me think that I need to get rid of the stomach, not alter the pattern, but that's another story. Anyway, so I actually don't think I'll be bringing this on my trip. So I haven't finished hemming the arms or the pants, which I will do when I get back because I'm not bringing it. And... So that's that. So yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a, I don't know, disappointment. The finished garment measurements um, should have been sort of good enough um, with the hip. So yeah, they do, I should have measured the, um, the rise and the inseam, but I didn't, so because I did do some reading and everybody sort of seemed to think it fit nicely without changes. Give me one moment, I'm gonna close my door. Okay, so the second pattern I got made up was the Arden pants. I had gotten started on this in my last um, uh, video that I shared and I finished those off. Um, the Arden pants are Helen's Closet. Um, I think I mentioned before, um, I've made quite a few of these before. I made a 16. I always felt they were sort of, not slightly snug, but a little bit snug. And of course, a lot's dependent on the fabric. So I made a 16 in wash cotton before, and wash cotton sort of tends to um, sort of not get looser, but a little bit looser as you wear it. And then I made it in a very rigid cotton, and I felt those were sort of a little tight. 
So I decided this time to make an 18 um, in this fabric here, which is a stretch cotton. And I probably didn't need to, so I ended up taking some um, off the sides and the inseam. So I, like I said, I probably could have stuck with a 16. Um, these are lovely. They've got the nice pocket here. Um, I went with the version that just has a hem at the bottom, which you can see. I'll insert some pictures. Um, this is just, I wanted to get these made up because it's a lovely sort of summery pattern and um, I thought it'd be quite fun to wear. I had intended to make a Jessie T out of this because I thought it looked super nice. I may do that if I have time later um, after I pack. But um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to wearing these. I have a couple of white tops that I thought I could wear with that. Um, although now that I look at it, it looks almost creamy. But we shall see. But I was really pleased with these. After the changes I made, they felt nice. And like I said, I'll share some pictures. So that's about it. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day on the sewing. Like I said, I may make the t-shirt if I have time. That's a quick make and I've made it so many times I could do it in my sleep. But I probably won't. I think I'm going to call it a day. Pack get ready and not stress too much. It's an early start in the morning. Um, we go via London. So I just wanna make sure I have everything to make the journey easy with the seven-year-old. So anyway, I hope you're all well and um, you will see a video coming up shortly, which is the Sorrento Jacket Review, which is a uh, collaboration I did with Claire from Stitch Hem Sew. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all well and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Thank you.